Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of the uh, Popular Fiction Legacy Challenge. And we join um, Harrison at work. I couldn't remember his name. I wanted to call him Morgan. He's not Morgan. I have no Sims called Morgan. So I don't know where that name came from. Um, I was playing him for a bit um, between episodes. And let's just pause you for a minute. I got his points up to become a vampire master. So now he has, let's have a look. He has six power points to spend. I did get the perfect sun resistance so that he can go out into the sun. And um, that hasn't made any change to survive for an additional 20 days as a vampire. So that is just really kind of like, really? Because I mean, obviously he has survived for 20 days as a vampire because, you know, he's got kids and stuff now. Can he, can we tell how, how old he is? How many days he's lived? I don't know. Number of days lived, 134, but I don't know how many days he lived in the beginning. Uh, yeah, I should have checked that. I don't know. Because we're playing on a long, a long um, age span, so I have no idea how long any of these days are. But he's he survived, and he's still around. He hasn't been consumed or anything. And like I said, I've seen other people have complained that this is some kind of bug and it's not working. I don't know. But I am very tempted to um, complete the aspiration using um, um, MCCC, uh, Master Command Center, because otherwise he's never going to get it. And he's surviving every day as a vampire. So I don't know. Is that the last thing? That's basically the last thing. So I... I don't know. I really don't know. Because, yeah. But I'm really tempted, because as you've seen, he's, he's, um, he's been consuming plasma or, you know, biting people, turning people, whatever, but he's surviving. He's still a vampire. So I, I don't know. I'll have to have a think about that one. Um, so yeah. And also, the other thing you may notice there's only one um, surgery table because while I was playing offline he had we had the same bug where we had to admit somebody to surgery they lay on the table then got up went to the next table and Harrison was stuck at this table and he wouldn't move and the fix that everybody had said online is that they went into cheat mode um, I think it's um, bb.fulledit, I think that's what it is, and um, deleted the other table, so then they were forced to come and use this table. Well, actually, they didn't use that table at the time, but next time somebody came in, which was the person that he had to deliver a baby at the surgery table, they came in, they used the one table that was there, and we got the okay, because he did get a, a, a promotion. So that's something. We're now at level eight. And the only thing he has to do at this is deliver a baby. And somebody came in and we were able to successfully deliver a baby. So yeah, I had to do that because it was, it was, um, the game didn't like it, basically. So, right, let's get on with things. Now that I've spent ages explaining. So again, Harrison is just rinse and repeat. I'm trying to get him get as much done as possible so that he can get promoted. And maybe the next couple of episodes, I might just send him to work to see if I can get him promoted. 
All right, so what else? You need to analyze a patient sample. Do you have a thing you're supposed to analyze? I can't even remember who he was looking at. Uh, analyze sample, Judith Munch. I think she's gone, because that's Judith Ward. I'm not seeing Judith Ward. So she's gone, but analyze the sample, get the, get the thing for it. And we've got people waiting. We should really admit a few people to take to <coughs> excuse me oh dear my voice is going we should admit people to treat patient can we treat the patient no we can't a medical referral admit to a bed why don't these people do it you would have thought is that megan no it's not megan oh no megan's no megan's not dead why is megan not talk, working at the hospital anymore and also, Megan hates him. All right, let's um, admit you as well. Okay, we've done that. Go admit somebody, anybody. And then log uh, the results. And then we can we can deal with you. Okay, examine patient, scan body. Somebody left. H, is that his name? H. Yeah. Okay, is um the nurse gonna look after you? Okay. Fine, the nurse looks after you then. Liberty's at work. Ashley's been sent to daycare. Ashley, I think, uh, I may did. have leveled up. Oh, she's only got one more skill to level up. And then we can age her up. So we'll probably ended up, end up aging her up today. That was a bit of a mouthful. Okay, swab a patient. So you go and swab. Actually, no. Let's do one of the kids. Uh, examine patient. Swab for sample. Yeah, you would think they'd have more... I, I probably say this every single week when he's at work, but you would think they would have more for doctors to do when they're, you know... When they're orderlies, yeah, you'd expect them to be doing all of this kind of thing. Examine patient, scan body. But when, um, you know, when they're like... When they're higher up in the career, a medical specialist... You know, you need to do something more than just the same thing you were doing as a nurse. So uh, we need more tests. Uh, check their eyes. But what I might, what I'm going to have to do is play, play him. See if I can just send send him to work, and see if he, see if I can get him to to um. To get a thing that way, a promotion. Um, take his temperature. What time is it? It's only three in the afternoon for him. Okay, medical referral. Oh, we can't do the treadmill test. Okay, can we diagnose you? Weak diagnosis. Okay, we can't diagnose you. Let's analyze your sample. Analyze the sample and it is Lucas Munch. Okay. That must be Judith's son. I'm guessing. I mean he's a little blonde kid. So that must be Judith Ward's son. You have to love the story progression that you have for um MCCC. Alright, let's put you on double speed because it just takes forever. I do like Harrison though. He's cool. Okay, infectious illness, which he needs to diagnose and treat. So do we have a compelling diagnosis? Okay, any one of the two. Um, medical referral, x-ray scan. What is with, um, what's her name? Yumiko. He's always talking to Yumiko. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, oh, I shouldn't have come over because he's going to go to the x-ray machine. So wait a minute, the kid can't do a treadmill test, but they can go in the x-ray machine, full body x-ray machine. You would have thought they'd let them do the treadmill test, or maybe they should have something that's non-invasive. Yeah, come and get in the x-ray machine. Please, oh God. Uh, medical refer you, x-ray scan. Oberoi. Why does that drop out of their queue, I wonder? Alright, you're feeling dizzy and such. you got a fever. You're in the right place. You know, that's what hospitals are there for. And let's put you in a different bed. As you do. Who's that? Is that Clara? And that's Elsa. Elsa Bjergsen. Clara's her mum. Okay. Uh, okay, we know it's treatable. Compelling. Starry eyes. That's the diagnosis. Please. Compelling diagnosis. Starry eyes. Okay, and treat patient starry eyes. Yay, he's cured. Okay. So now that we've done enough to get him, he can actually leave on time today. Usually I get him to leave uh, leave late. So you can log the sample analysis results before the end of work. Uh, log sample results. Right. Are we going to have enough time? I doubt. Oh, just before the end of end of the day. Okay, Ashley is back. She should get that movement skill any second. There you go. Right, Harrison. Uh, no, it's fine. Harrison, come and bake a cake for your baby girl. Or cook a cake. Because, you know. Uh, which cake do we want? She looks like... Oh, winter cake. Let's do a winter cake. Alright, you can stop the whole dance thing now. We're sorted. Harrison, what are you doing? Oh, you're in already. I didn't see you do that. And Corin, our heir, what are you doing? You're playing. Alright, we need to concentrate on you getting your aspiration because I want you to get your aspiration before you age up. Because seeing that we're playing on long, you know, we need to set ourselves some goals because I'm not going to be playing you for another, was it 60 days? Is it 60 days before you age up? 40, yeah. We, we need some goals. So your sister, she's hungry. Oh, she's... Oh, she's got food in her pocket, as you do. All right, Harrison, it's you. Uh, where are you going? This side. All right. Um, add birthday candles. That winter cake looks... Is that pine cones on top of a cake? I'm hoping that they're marzipan pine cones and not the real thing because that's just gross. Right. Um, no, don't go and sleep yet. Um, help to bark candles, Ashley. All right, Ash, you stop eating. And Daddy will help you blow out the candles. Not sure what's going on with that hand fold pose, but yeah. Thank 
Alright, go on. Help your daughter. Let's try and get a good a good view. Oh, <laughs> Really? Okay. Much as I like that haircut, not on you, Ashley. Definitely not on you. All right, let's sort you out. And we need to decorate your room as well. So let's get you sorted and your room sorted and I will be back in a minute. So I am back. I can't remember this bed at all in, in the game, but obviously it's there. Oh, is it outside the window? Oh, it's outside the window. Hold on. Okay, right. I'm back. I've given her room a makeover. Um, she's got this bedding. I like that bedding. I approve. It's got food. Is that a sentient cookie? Could be a sentient cookie. I don't know. But seeing that her room is done in purple, I think that her colour should be purple. So Ash has a lot of pinks and purples. What? It... Yeah, you're telling a story to yourself. Okay, what traits did you roll up? Let's have a look. She got erratic. Okay. And what did your brother get? Neat and happy toddler. Okay, okay. And she just got erratic. I don't know where she got erratic from because none of her family have it. But that's fine. I mean, being raised as a vampire child. Although she's not a vampire. She's definitely she's definitely human. But, you know, having a vampire as your father, I guess that would mess with somebody's brain. Alright, Liberty, your home. You can... Um, harvest all. Is that ready to be harvest? The money tree. There's nothing wrong with it though. Alright, so um, Ashley, you need to go up to bed. Oh, I thought the camera just automatically moved to somebody who was turned into a vampire. Because we did turn quite a few people into vampires <laughs> in order to get um, some vampire points up all right what are you doing you've run to play with stuff no 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 i need you to go to bed can you go to bed though you can get into the room right liberty you need to fix the sink because you know i don't know if you broke it but it needs fixing and we're just waiting for the money tree to grow up and then we can start producing money. Wait a minute, Harrison, weren't you... What were you doing? I could have sworn... Alright, let's give you some PowerPoints anyway. Um, influence emotion. Missed form. Beyond the herd. Social need. Um, tamed thirst. Will never drink from other sims on his own. Okay, he never never does that anyway. And immortal presence. Fun need doesn't decrease anymore. Well for those they never do anyway. Or do we have to take two weak no, we've got two weaknesses, haven't we? Or do we have to take more? We have to take more. Um Eternal Sadness. No thank you. Uncontrollable hissing? Sloppy drinker, no. Fitful sleep, vampiric slumber, that's this one, right? So he can't get that and fitful sleep. We can't get that one because we've got um, the Daywalker one, perfect sun resistance. Should we just, I think we'll just make him unbearably sad for a while. Sloppy drinker, gains less thirst when drinking. Or insatiable thirst. No, I think he gets the. Uh, I think he gets thirstier quick, more quickly, more quickly. Anyway, so I don't know if we want to do that. 
fitful sleep. Power gain is reduced while sleeping. He doesn't get much power gain from sleeping anyway. So, uh, okay, we'll go for sloppy drinker. So we've done that. But you need to sleep. So the kids are sleeping. Liberty's fixing the sink. Have they fallen out of love with each other? They are. They're definitely falling out of love. Because I've got other, other sim couples who autonom autonomously kiss and cuddle and stuff. And they're not doing it. So maybe Liberty is having um, second thoughts about being in a relationship with a vampire. Because they're not married, are they? No, they're not married. All right, Liberty, you need to go upstairs and sleep because everyone else is sleeping. So you go to sleep. This is what Thursday, so Corin's got to go to school. Um, Ashley is not going to go to school because she just... Oh, no, she is going to school today. Okay, cool. All right, let's move you out of the way. Well, go and use the toilet. Stop dancing about it. All right, she's up at four. Why is she up at four? Okay. Well, anyhow, you're up. You can do your homework. Do homework. Is that spoiled? Yes, it is. Put it in the sink. The sippy cup can go in the sink. Just do your homework. Harrison's up and you need to oh we have enough plasma packs okay that means we're gonna burn through more plasma packs oh never mind and very sad because eternal life yeah we're gonna have to I thought he was going to sleep but no he's going to go and cry it out and what's today oh today's harvest fest that means there's no school Okay, um, where are the gnomes? Do we have gnomes? We Oh, we do have gnomes. We has gnomes. Alright, you can call the sadness hotline. Because that is the quickest way to get your sadness down. Because right now he's got four hours and... After he calls the hotline, we finished calling. No, you haven't finished calling. It's now what? It's now twelve hours. Okay, I. Uh, oh. Yeah, usually it brings it down. It doesn't put it up. Right. Well, Liberty, it's early in the morning. You can make a grand breakfast, and you're clumsy. Maybe that's where the erratic trait came from. I don't know. Cook a grand meal. But that isn't... Oh. No. I don't think the grand breakfast is vegetarian. I know, but Harrison's not going to eat it anyway. So we're fine. Grand breakfast. And Harrison... No, we need to play. Why are you uncomfortable from the cheap smell, cheap fridge? Okay, once we get the money tree in, we can get you a proper fridge, love. I don't know why all of a sudden it's like, oh my goodness, we have a cheap fridge. This is like absolutely awful. You've been doing it for years. Okay, um, you, my boy, what do you need to do? Because we're concentrating on your, your thing while your dad works oh all the all the things are downstairs now all right cool we'll sort those out in a minute you need to make a bff but you can be bffs with your sister because i think you're yeah your friends and she looks like she's about to do something um share a secret 
be thankful, friendly, ask about day, talk about school, confess the fear of vamp vampires. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a correct response to have around your father. Although I guess your dad could be a scary dude. Social level 8, that's good. Um, what are you two doing? That looks painful. Alright, have you finished the grand breakfast? Alright, Liberty. Oh no, you're having a shower, okay. Um, praise vampire lifestyle. Goof around. Ooh. Oh, I just saw describe imaginary friend. I just saw cloud gaze. Nope, that was cloud, but not cloud gaze. Ask the cloud gaze. Okay. That's cool. Does a, do you get a, a meter over friends as well? Or you don't get like a percentage? Alright, so while you two are doing that and you're dancing now they're good friends call to grand meal um you are you're ill okay oh harrison no oh go yeah go and throw up but at least you got your tradition clean oh do we need another chair we need another chair well not really we got three all right put that in put that in and of course I need my handy infographic to see what the gnomes like So yeah, I keep it on my phone because I'm always looking at it. You think I would have memorized it by now, to be honest. Okay, what are you guys doing? All right, that food needs to go away. Liberty, you're on the computer. Put that in the sink. Are you two just standing there? All right, you'll be... Yep, yeah, we have... We have a problem. Are you gonna? Oh, I thought you were gonna take that plate of food in the bathroom. No, now you're sitting down to eat. Okay, not a problem. Okay, so according to my Under the Plum Bob podcast gnome informatic, let's have a look and see what we need to do with the gnomes to make them happy. All right, Harrison, you are you still? No, you're, you're not nauseous anymore. All right, we have. Hmm. Angry gnome is not on there. Oh, we have money on the money tree, I'm guessing. You are normal gnome. So you want coffee. And of course, if I get it wrong, I, I can just plead for forgiveness twice, and then everything's okay. You want coffee? Yes, you do. All right, um, buddy, you want, let's find another gnome. Where are all the gnomes gone? Are they upstairs? Oh, yeah, they're in the toilet. Oh, oh, we got, a, oh, he's a ghost. Okay. The ghost gnome wants fruitcake. All right, give him fruitcake. Now, don't go to your mother. Um, 
Eating dirt is really unhealthy. Yes, your dad can tell you that because he'll tell you all the pathogens and stuff you can get from dirt. Fruitcake? Yes. You like? He likes. Okay, Missy, you... Why is everyone... Oh, the thermostat isn't on. Um, Harrison, oh, you've gone to have a good old cry. Well, when you're finished, come and turn on the thermostat. And we need... No, Ira, it's fine. We're missing a gnome. No, that's a, a thing. Where are we missing... Where's the missing gnome? Oh, he's in the bathroom. Um, I got a present. I think it's done. Be grateful. The present was for you. Okay, you've done. Oh, somebody turned into a vampire. Who are you? Vincento Biggs. Oh my. Alright. Alright. But yeah. Oh my god, the rings. Alright, you've done the gnome thing. Who hasn't done the gnome thing? Alright, Missy, you haven't done the gnome thing. So we want the Grim Reaper gnome, and he also wants pie. No, also? No, he wants pie, not also. Alright, where are you? You are there. The thermostat is on. That means the kids can take their coats and stuff off. Did you give him pie? Appease the gnome. Oh yes, you did. Give pie. You didn't give him pie. No, don't don't play. Don't mop. Give the gnome pie. Give him pie, please. Give him pie. He likes. He does. Good, good. So all of them, okay, you... Oh, we didn't decorate. Oh, we haven't decorated. Okay. Okay, uh, put up decorations. Yes, very nice. Very festive. All right, so we've done... Did you not decorate? Did that not okay for you? You were the one that I told you to go decorate. All right. Um, all right, you're not happy. Share the spirit. Oh, you... Oh, you're stinky. That's why. No, he's stinky. Uh, be thankful. Somebody's stinky. Oh, he's stinky. Why has he still got his coat on? That's something I've noticed recently. Um, change outfit every day. They will come in, but then I'll have the. They will keep the coats on. I'm not really sure why. Okay. All right. We need you. Well, you've already appeased the gnomes. Go rummage for some decorations, and then that should be fine. Um, and then we can finish the episode. Uh, rummage for fall decorations. And Harrison, where have you gone? Oh, you're downstairs, contemplating the meaning of life. Okay, we can't collect anything from that. Next episode, probably. Okay, yes. That's okay with you. So we have maxed out harvest fest for everybody which is awesome and this we really need to revarnish these um these floors they really need doing properly but yes this is where we are going to end the episode so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching Bye bye